Hello and welcome to today's video break. Psalm 33, 8 says, Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere Him. You know, this verse is calling for you and I to pause for a second and really ask that in-depth question of who do we fear? Now, fear, now, what do you mean? What do you mean? What am I scared of? I mean, who are you? What voice has become so loud in your mind that you're allowing that voice for that voice to dictate to you how you're going to adjust your day? And you're thinking, I go to work. Of course, it's my boss. But I, I'm talking about a grander voice. I'm talking about, yes, we can fear our boss, obey our boss, but I'm not. I'm talking about that ultimate voice that says, this is the voice that's going to direct my steps. This is the place that I'm going to go. Most of the time that we can either fear two sources. We're either going to fear what God says or we're going to fear what man says. And when man conflicts what God says, are we going to still obey God? That's what this is. That's what that verse is, is challenging you and I to do. When the voices that are around you are surrounding you and they become so loud that they're they're trying to get you to go down a path, go a certain way, go a certain direction. And yet, you know, it's contrary to what God is, the, the voice of God is saying. It's at that point, are you going to say, whose voice am I going to fear? Whose voice is that sense of awe in my life that you respect so deeply, you honor so deeply that you're going to listen there. You're going to go there because that's the voice that's leading your life. Now, for some of us, the voice of people makes sense because if I don't obey, you know, the, the voice of people in my life, such as my boss, then I might, I, I'm, there might be some huge consequences. But you know what? I'm thinking that the consequences of not listening to God's voice are much greater. You know, they're, they're, that's the place of total freedom. And I'm often reminded of that movie where that, that, that guy was challenged with this very verse, you know, his, the you know, the place that he worked was challenging him to do something that was unethical. And yet he knew that wasn't the voice to listen to, even though it was coming from superiors. And he chose not to. And yet so many great things worked out for him just because he obeyed the voice of God. There's always, always greater results, the best results, the greatest results you and I can have is when we bow before the voice of God instead of the voice of man, especially when those two, especially when those two contradict. So I think you know what voice is the loudest voice that you listen to. And I think I know. But my challenge for you and I, even this day, is to allow God's voice to be the voice that we hear and the voice that we fear to the place that all other voices, yes, we may hear them, but what is going to be the one true voice that all other voices are going, to, are going to come through? Let it be the voice of God. And be blessed, my friend.